What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We'll be talking about a few different horror topics here today. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. We'll be talking about Final Destination 6. And we'll be talking about David Gordon Green's The Exorcist Believer. So starting this off with Chucky Season 3. Season 3 Episode 1 will indeed feature the return of Lexi, Devin, and Jake. That was confirmed today courtesy of a new still from the upcoming episode. So for everyone that was concerned, no need to be concerned. And now you know when they'll appear. And for everyone like, well, duh, they were going to appear it's not that people didn't know these characters were obviously penciled in to return. That was already known. But the recent promo has been so Devin Sawa heavy and Life at the White House focused that fans of the trio were just becoming concerned that perhaps these three wouldn't appear until the second half of the season and that perhaps the ongoing strikes might have something to do with the fact that they won't get to see these characters in this season because the second half of the season is still up in the air but that's all been put to bed because those three will make their return during episode one again courtesy of that new steel that was released today as for when the trailer drops my guest based on what was shared with me earlier this week would have to be a safe prediction of tomorrow if not tomorrow then i could very well be watching the episodes before the trailer even drops which is fine with me but you guys can stop pulling your hair out because the trio will be back on day one we also got a new clip of the presidential collins family uh they were in the elevator i'm assuming trying to escape after something went down the clip ended with the teddy character that was mentioned from the audition tapes being confirmed as a character that will actually be meeting in the upcoming season as well he was giving the doll back to henry uh, who we also know was confirmed courtesy of the recent stills that have been released and now of course this clip as well it is very much so a clip giving curse of chucky vibes so that made me a little giddy about the season i hope they keep this tone and hopefully they are just a little bit more reliant on the darker sides of this franchise and less on the comedy although i do not mind some of the wackiness of season two some parts of it while i can agree are a little bit too much Diving into Final Destination 6, Final Destination 6 will be including the return of Tony Todd. Sources tell Bloody Disgusting that Tony Todd has signed on to reprise his role as William Bloodworth in the upcoming sixth installment in a Final Destination franchise. The plot will reportedly center on first responders. We're told that the film digs into Bloodworth's backstory, including a flashback to his childhood that reveals more about his connection to death. Now, while I've seen the discourse online about this character should be kept a secret, kept a mystery, I can agree with that. It seems, of course, that that just won't be the case. So I wanted to turn the attention to something more important since they're going to just be unraveling a character that you guys could argue should remain mysterious. Notice the report mentions what was believed to be a scrapped concept, and that's that this being set in a world of first responders. Why is this interesting? Because a synopsis has been known for months about a young woman named Stephanie having a reoccurring dream about dying in a fire that occurred in the 1960s. She realizes that it's not just a dream, but a premonition of the fate that awaits her family. Her grandmother, Esther, had escaped the same fate years ago, saving others from a tower collapse, and death has worked its way up to Esther's family. Audition tapes also online backed up this synopsis. So I've even shared those with you all. So the question now becomes, did they simply tweak the first responder story? Because to their credit, the audition tapes do not mention any occupations. Uh, or is Bloody Disgusting wrong, perhaps, in this report? And just simply reporting on something that's already been made known to the public and officially talked about in the past? Bloody Disgusting isn't, isn't usually wrong, but yes, reputable outlets aren't always correct either. But let's say this is a possibility of how Tony's character connects to Stephanie and how it can loop back to first responders. What if Tony is Esther's son who survived the tower collapse from the 60s and he is Stephanie's dad and the rest of their family are the first responders we have yet to meet or that we are going to meet in the upcoming film if everything is able to still go as scheduled once all the strikes are settled. That's the simplest way I could see these being fused together because the mention of the first responder concept completely threw a curveball to me. Keep in mind, I've also already touched on the concept and the characters that would have been involved in that first responder concept so if we're getting the first responder concept still it's completely different we're not getting anything of what i've talked about in those videos but if we are uh i'm trying to do my best to make sure that i can have that cracked down so that way only those of you who have watched those videos know about it if it's still relevant to the upcoming film i don't think it is diving into david gordon green's the exorcist believer David Gordon Green recently sat down with 
Total Film Magazine explaining Linda Blair's role in the upcoming Exorcist Believer. He said that she came to set because she was an advisor on the movie. I was really lucky to have her read the script, but she was not interested in a significant role and stepping back into that. Now, the article went on to imply that Reagan doesn't appear in the film in any form besides a picture uh, based on Green's comments. And if that's true, guys, keep in mind, Linda did appear during the test screenings. So if she doesn't show up, that backs up the possibility I did consider before in another video. And that's that she could be cut because that's how insignificant the return was. However, it was also one of the more well-received aspects of the movie. And Green didn't say that she's not in this movie. He simply just said that Linda was not interested in a significant role. So the key words there for me are significant role. Because there was nothing significant about the little screen time she had in the film during the test screenings. I believe Linda's little cameo will still remain and she'll appear. I don't think Reagan got cut at all because even the test screening people have reached out to kind of laugh about this. If she got cut, that's fine. But she shot a scene or two, guys. There's no reason multiple test audiences members, multiple members from the test audience, test audience will collectively lie about the same appearance. There's just no reasoning for that. Linda, Linda Blair she doesn't have a significant role in the Exorcist believer and what i am reading between the lines on with david's comments is he's confirming that she's not going to have anything substantial going on while linda might not have been open to doing something significant it would appear she wasn't opposed to doing something insignificant something minor something very brief because that's how her appearance is in this upcoming film Think of Tony Todd in Candyman 2021, although Tony Todd's appearance, while brief, was definitely still more impactful given all the context surrounding that movie. In comparison to what Linda Blair was doing in this film, no reason to have her here other than to possibly set up what is to come in the sequel, The Exorcist Deceiver. But I don't believe she was cut. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think that his comments imply that she was cut? Do you think this is simply just a way to hide the fact that she is indeed going to show up as a surprise? Because reports were already coming out. They're not going to, if she's supposed to be a surprise, they're not going to come out and say, yeah, she's in it. They're not going to come out and do that. Linda herself hasn't even come out, came out and denied it. The most I recall Linda doing was initially saying they didn't reach out to her. But she was on set, she read the script, and according to test audience members, she was in the movie. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there's a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.